Hey guys, welcome to the 33rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you um, how to use ternary operator. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a checkbox. Alright, and under the button when clicked here, we have four lines of code. The first line of code just creates a new string. The second line is an if statement, checking to see whether or not checkbox 1 is checked. And if it is checked, then my string will be equal to its check. Otherwise, else, my string will be equal to it's not checked. And then it just displays that string in a message box. So if we debug here, since this is not checked, we should get a message box saying it's not checked. Yep. But if it is checked, we should get a message box saying it is error. It's checked. Yep. So instead of having these three lines of or these three lines of code right here, we could um, use ternary operator. And I'm just going to go ahead and comment this out. And in order to do that, you're just going to go up to this little uh, toolbar up here and click these, uh, I guess, these lines right here. And it just says comment out the selected lines. And that'll just make it so that the compiler just skips right over these lines of code. So we could type literally anything in here we wanted. And it won't give us an error. All right, so now we're going to use ternary operators. So first, we're just going to want to create string my string, and we're going to set that equal to. First, we're just going to want to put two parentheses, and inside of these parentheses, we're going to want to put what we want um, to be evaluated. And we're going to evaluate if checkbox one is checked. And then, following that, we're going to want to put a question mark. Now, after the question mark, we're going to want to type out um, what we want it to do if this is true. So we're going to have my string be equal to its check. And then you're going to want to put a colon. And after that, you're going to want to type what you want my string to be equal to if whatever evaluated in here is false. So in other words, that would be our else. So we're just going to type out it's not checked. So once again, my string would be equal to either this or this, depending on what this is. So if this is true inside of here, then it will be true, and then it will do this code. If um, this is false inside of here, then it will do this code. And you don't have to just use bools. Like you could say, like if I don't know, button one dot text equals something. It doesn't have to be just be a bool. Alright, so now this should do the exact same thing as what this did before. So now when we debug, we should get um, it's not checked. Yep. And when we check it, we should get a message box saying it is checked. Yep. You can also use this, uh, you could just pass this through as a parameter in here. You wouldn't even need this my string. We could just take this code right here, copy it, and paste it right in there, and not even use this string. The only downside to this is it makes it a little bit harder to read, but if you get used to this enough, it's not really that big of an issue. So now we only have one line of code, which makes it even cleaner yet. It's not checked. We check it. It's checked. So that's pretty quick. Um, but that's all there really is the ternary operator. Um, like I said before though, this uh, will cut down on the readability. If you're not used to ternary operator, then you can just use the if statement. However, this will make your code less lines, which is always what you're aiming towards as a programmer. So, see you guys.